Welcome to the Bondi Scrapper channel. Uh, today, faffing about in the workshop, trying to reduce the amount of stuff that's come in and make it go out, especially during these times of high copper prices. And uh, I've got a, what was, what was a full milk crate full of uh, fluorescent tube transformers. And uh, I've been slowly working my way through them over the months. And um, I thought I'd show you how I pull these down to um, bare copper. And the reason why I pull them down to bare copper is because uh, my scrapyard that used to give me, I don't know, 40 cents a kilo as, um, as a transformer turned around and said, oh no, they're not transformers anymore, there's not enough copper yield from them. And uh, we're just going to give you 10 cents a kilo as shred. And uh, that kind of um, mm, didn't sit well with me, so I thought, well, bugger it, I'm just going to uh, strip them down to the bare metal, bare copper, and uh, its steel components, and um, go from there. If I remember rightly, well, they come out something like this. So to give you a bit of an idea, that's the length of my finger. Um, and there's about, I think about 70 grams. I'll go up and weigh one soon. Uh, I've been working through them, and there's a bit of a little bit of a pile of today's effort sitting there. There's about a dozen there, and I think I've got of this type oh, about another six or seven or eight to go. So let's, um, yeah, let's pull these apart, or at least pull one of them apart. Right. So the way these are put together is um, this backing plate here is steel. It has steel outer copper winding going right around the copper loop and a steel core so we've got to separate all that and the way I like to do it is I have these two uh, two little well, two transformers there to act as steadies what are you going to call them I like to get the, the big hammer and give it a good hard whack like that What that does is starts to pull the steel away from the other bit. I'll get uh, a chisel. This one that does need a good grinding at the end and uh, has already fallen apart a bit. But gee, what do you expect? I bought that in 1981 and I think it was 50 cents. Uh, but it's an old friend. So, yep, you're still in the frame there. I get my chisel down in between where it started to come apart there. Get the hammer out, and because I'm a bit of a bit of a weakling, I get the smaller hammer out because then I can hold it at the end there. Tap that down a bit until it's stuck in there, and then move my hand away because I don't want to. Oh, sorry. Comes apart like that. Then I've got this bit of. It's a long screw. You could use anything, I guess. Um, but this just happened to be handy. It's about the right size. And what I do is I put the screw. There's a seam right up the middle there on this one. Seam right up the middle on the back of it. You've got to split that seam. And so I like to put that into the seam. Put the seam down under there. Again, get the big chisel and give it a smack and hopefully yeah so hopefully as I do that and open it up on that side it opens it up a bit on that side as well so if you want to get carried away you can kind of Get that bit and give it, get it right apart. What that then does is opens up that gap in there. And I've got this other little chisel, and that just conveniently happens to fit in the gap. So then I just get that, get the hammer. Whack it down the side. And all those leaves just come off. 
repeat on the other side. Chisel comes through, all the leaves come off. I feel like Joe the Gadget man. Get that. Get the green hammer, which is older than me. Was my grandfather's. Reggie the veggie. And I just kind of hold my hand under it like that. Give that a hit. And we end up with that, which is our empty bit of copper, believe it or not. And all the leaves come out. Whoop, there we go, right there. And that's it, job done. All the bits in the middle, they're iron, steel. And uh, so they can go on the steel bit. And yep, that's pretty right, that one. Um, I'll accept that as burnt copper. So I'm going to do the rest, um, and you don't want to see that because I'm told my videos are far too long. Well, I've been banging away for a few hours now, and uh, I wouldn't even say I'm finished because there's still... Oh, where, where did I put them? Because I have a, I've had a clean-up. Swept the floors, cleaned the benches off, put some tools away. There's still that many left. Um, what's that? About ten. But that's okay because you should stop when you get tired and when you get bored uh, with one thing and go and do something else. But we finished up with, I made a couple of them look enough like transformers. They can go in the transformer bin because they were a different style of assembly and uh, being recalcitrant and not coming apart. Uh, so that's good. And, uh, and here's all the stuff that we managed to strip back as burnt copper, as they call it. Two point, let's get you out of the glue air. 2.694, let's call it 2.7 kilos. And I think it's about $8.50 a kilo at the moment. So... What, eight and eight, 16, 17, another four, call it 21, maybe $22 worth there. Um, so that's all right. Uh, I'm going to the pub tonight and going to have a massive two beers and that'll just about pay for those two beers if I'm lucky. Um, so that's good. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, the little bit that I showed you. Um, not too bad to pull apart, as you can see, as long as you've got the room to do it and a couple of chisels. And, um, yeah, reasonable money. So, bye. See you next time. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Be good to have some more subscribers, although I've breached the 100, and that is fantastic considering. Bye.